Hey, 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 boss team. Tonight, I am going to be debuting this Big Boys, Big Boy Prince Ling. And when I tell you guys, I got a kit in the mail and it is amazing and I want to share it with y'all. So we are going to jump right on into the video. I know that I'm a little bit early, but y'all, I got to get my butt in the bed. So I want to jump on here, get this thing going, give people a few seconds to jump on and we are going to get right on into the video because it is close to christmas y'all and y'all know i know everybody's got things to do we're gonna keep this video nice and sweet tonight we are going to be let me pull up pull everything up pull up the channel so that i can see the chat right on hey y'all hey i've got my phone right here so that i'll be able to see the chat we're gonna get this stuff popping tonight y'all so we are going to do a rhinestone shirt well we're going to do a sublimation shirt that's going to have rhinestones on it and let me just jump over to my side-by-side -side camera to the desktop and this is the design that we are going to do now i started working on this design earlier today guys so if you did not if you missed that then and you want to see how to actually make it and all of that stuff you can go back and find that video i'll just kind of zoom out and show y'all so this is the finished product before i rhinestone it and what i did is i just added this was a stock image right this was a stock image and i just added i'm the boss on it because i am bossy okay and then uh, i changed this color of the starbucks logo i was actually going to recreate it and do something different and then i just put the words grinch please we're going to bling the cup on here and we're going to bling the earrings out but i'm going to jump over here i want to show you guys the let's jump right on into it like i said y'all tonight we ain't doing no plan tonight so let me move this over to the side so that we can get over to this camera and show you guys what's popping y'all know everything's bigger in texas and the king of bling is presenting his rhinestone kit y'all this kit is awesome okay so it comes with a mat the mat is a 12 by 12 mat you get two yards of flock okay you're gonna get two yards of flock and i'm gonna show you guys how to use this flock what are the cut settings that I found for the uh, Silhouette Cameo. Your settings may be a little bit different. I did not go by the instructions that were given to me because we are testing the flock to see what are the best settings. So it's two yards. I've already cut two templates off of it, as you can see. So we got two, two yards of the flock. You also get two yards of the masking tape, and I have not masked anything yet. So you get two yards of that, and you get this. I think this is really, really cute. Look at this brush set. So you get this little brush set, so you can just brush up your stones and put your stones in there. So you get that, and then you are going to get this cool little thingy here uh sponge for you to brush your stones in this is the biggest one i've ever seen it is huge like i said you know everything's bigger in texas so and then you get the little scraper to scrape with let's see you get a bunch of stuff here y'all all of these different little tools so you get the little tools to pick up your to pick your little rhinestone holes and you can use that for your vinyl also 
and then you get three of the pins here you get three of these pins and this little squiggly thing this is just you know you put this on here something like this and push it on up in there y'all know that arm is bad and then you have the wax right here and so if you take this top off you just do this number and you get the wax in there see that so i'm just pushing the wax off in there and so then i can use the pen to pick up stuff i'll show you guys the and not only is it just this one it's these two so you get those this whole complete set has about 30 pieces to it so you get those pins but let's get to the good part because the rhinestones is what I'm always crazy about. And you've got this too to pick up stuff. And of course, you got a neat pair of scissors, which I've used those off ready today. This kit, let's show you. And then you have these to put your stones in. So let's show the rhinestones themselves so that y'all can see these now. Put your shades on ladies put your shades on okay so we're gonna go through and i'm gonna tell you guys the names of them so you're going to get each each stone set this is the just a starter kit right so you're going to get 10 different colors of stones and you're go going to get uh 10 gross containers so these are this is the container the 10 gross containers and you're going to get 10 different colors and these are this whole kit is 99 bucks right so jb let's see here um jb is john quill okay nope not nope 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 y'all jb is jet black jb is jet black y'all know hey lady pb ain't really you know don't really know the stone colors like that so that's the jet black right there i'll put a few of them in here and kind of shake around so just a jet black stone right there right i do love this little container because it's so easy for me to put these stones back in here so thank you big boy he always comes with it and so now let's see which color we have here this is uh a red and it is light sign Let's put those in here i'm gonna show that so look at those look at that bling right there those are nice and y'all these are 10 ss stones okay these are 10 ss stones so with the 10 gross you're going to get about 1400 stones 1440 stones to be exact now of course you know it's weighed so that's kind of you know the numbers may not be exactly um oh this is this looks like some type of an orange and i'm just gonna go ahead and put some of those in there and let's let me read that out and see what that is y'all h y that is uh hyacinth y'all know i got i'm from texas now honey i can't pronounce all them names look at those those now these are so far that color is probably my favorite so far. I am crazy about that color. Look at that color. How's everybody doing? Y'all ready for Christmas out there? So those are absolutely beautiful. I see you ladies coming in. And gentlemen. And so then we have one here. This one says LR, and this one is light rose. Now, I'll probably be crazy about this one. Let's see. Let's see, because y'all know. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that one. I really, really do. 
and I think you can't really my lighting in here y'all does not really show you the beauty of these stones um I don't know let's see here try to find the right light setting for these so that you guys can really really see how pretty these stones are because they are gorgeous honey these are gorgeous look at there they're really really pretty um that's giving like a pink purplish type of look very very shiny very very shiny y'all very very shiny and look i've already look at me i'm already honey let me pick up these stones because i cannot afford to lose any of these y'all so you get enough to do a few you know a few different designs and then you can see and these are available over on his website y'all um over on big boy prints website um and i believe it's bigboyprints.org but i will double check so we have this blue right here isn't that beautiful look at that look at that and so these actually so you can you know these come in for the starter kit just comes in this size but you can actually order these on the website look at that look at those look at that bling 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 honey yes honey okay i cannot wait to knock to put these on um and actually y'all i'm gonna leave the tops off because I need to figure out what colors we're going to do our rhinestones in. This flock is absolutely amazing. Look at that. I'm not going to take them all out, y'all, but that one looks like kind of like a lemony yellow. It's called citrine. And then this one is a crystal AB right here. And who doesn't love Crystal AB? Look at those. Who does not love a Crystal AB, right? Crystal ABs, those will take on whatever color of that you are working on. Those are gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice stones. Nice stones. Nice stones. Big Boy also has um he also has um, uh, sublimation ink and sublimation paper now, guys, as well as, of course, you guys know he has the DTF. And he has a physical store location here in Dallas. Well, it's out in Glen Heights. So I got to go and check it out. And I will post that information. Um, this one, I did not look at the bottom, y'all. Let me look at it and see. It says QJQ. Um, that one is the goldish looking one. Yeah, I see it now. Okay. So that says JQ, John Quill. So really, really light. That's a really, really light gold. That one is a really, really light gold. And we got two more. And then we are going to push, 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 y'all. Let's see here. This one is the... This one is, says, CR. And this one is, um, I believe this one is just crystal, y'all. I believe that one is just the regular the regular crystals i don't have my main camera i wish i had zoomed in from over there but i will do that when we get ready after we have put these on something so and then oh this one is an emerald oh those are emeralds Oh, those are nice. Look at those. Nice, nice. 
Okay. So I do want to talk about the cut settings because here's the thing, y'all. Nothing is more frustrating. Nothing is more frustrating when you are learning to do rhinestones or anything in this business, right? When you are just getting started and you're learning and you get something and you go to cut it and then you know, hey, you use up half of your materials because you can't get a good cut. So that's what we're here for tonight because we are going to show you how to get the perfect cut on these. This mat is really, really nice, y'all. So I went ahead and pre-cut these templates just to make sure that we had them done because you guys know that Silhouette takes a while to do the templates and this first template i ended up stopping and it cut, got cut off i didn't stop it it just actually um i cut this too short but what i want to show you guys is that this is 6ss i cut it in the wrong size and if you have ever cut rhinestone flock or any type of rhinestone material you'll know that the 6ss is the smallest one and those are hard, harder to cut, right? So this cut perfectly on the 6SS. Um, I did not realize that the stones that um, the stones in the kit that you're getting, those are 10SS stones. But I'm gonna just to show you guys that this is you can pull this, pull this up. It, it, it will stick back down and all of that stuff. See how easy that is. So you know how some templates won't do that. So this is nice. Look at the look at the cuts there. So I went ahead and I cut another one and I'm going to go in. I'm going to share with you the cut settings because the cut settings according to the instructions that I got um i cut this material totally different and so um a lot of times you know and it does depend on your blade but i want to go in and i want to share with you guys those cut settings so let me go back over to the desktop and so again this is the design that we are going to do where are you Come on, come on, come on. I way my stuff is way over there, y'all. And I'm like way over here. Here we go. There we go. Okay. So I actually cut this over here in um over in silhouette. And what I did, so the cut settings that this comes, that the material comes with, it tells you to cut this with your blade on 10. Now I cut this on the on the silhouette cameo number four, uh, the plus, and I cut this with my settings. And let me go in here and pull up the settings that I actually use. It's not set up here, but I can tell you the settings I use. So my cut settings that I use, I use a blade force of five. I've set my blade on five. I use my force at 30 and then uh, I did the double cut um, where I ran it through twice and I'm trying to see because there's a paper here y'all there's a paper here that has the, the recommended settings that they sent over and those settings I don't agree with at all um, so I want to and it could be for different, you know, for different uh, printers. So let me just see if I can find them really quick, real quick. Well, sorry, y'all, to be getting up and all that stuff, but I do like to try to find stuff, and so I can. I don't know what I did with them, cause I. But I can tell you guys. Okay, so I don't see. I don't see it. I may have thrown it away. Um, but the cut settings that came with the, the suggestions here we go here we go there we go y'all know lady be the throw the stuff in the trash 
the suggested cut settings for the cameo um, that came with the flock. Those settings say to use your to set your blade at 10. I tested the blade at seven. I thought that the blade was too, it cut too deep. Um, anytime that you're cutting something and it cuts into your mat, then you know that it's cutting too deep. So I turned the blade down uh, from seven and I ended up going to five and five was the perfect spot. Um, and then I, it says to do it at two passes. I did do this flock at two passes. Although I honestly think you can do one pass with this flock and that you'll be fine. The advised uh, speed is 10. I did mine at five. Okay, I did do my speed at five. Five is a little slower, so it takes a little while for it to cut, uh, to cut out my design, but I was fine with that. And it tells you the force at 33. Now, like I said, um, I noticed that it was cutting, actually cutting through the paper and whatnot. So I decreased the force to 30. Now I went back and reprinted one. And so I may end up, that was like, this was my first one. This is my second one. So I may end up uh, changing the, the force and decreasing the force a little bit. And I'll tell you guys a little bit um, about that and why. And I'm gonna show you here on the mat um well you can't see here on the mat let's see if you can see is this a self-healing mat or something must be because dang i don't even see it now y'all well i guess it is well do -woo -do, -woo -do, -woo -do, -woo -do, -woo do you know how you have some mats that will heal themselves and then Yep, because, okay, there it is. Barely on there, right there. But I'm going to pull this off here. Always keep this piece so that you can put it back on when your mat is not in use. Um, So, I don't know if you guys can see, but right here is where I actually ended up... Um cutting onto the mat from here but up off in here all in here you don't see any cuts so i knew that i was close to where i needed to be now the other thing that the manufacturer tells you is to remove the backing tells you to remove the backing off of the flock and then lay the backing onto the mat right i don't do that when you lay when you do that then you can pull it up what it does it's supposed to help you to um it's supposed to help with you know the circles all coming out and they'll be on the mat and then you can scrape you know those circles off the mat well I'm not trying to use the mat as much as possible, so I don't do that. I le actually left mine on the mat, um, and I decreased the force. I believe that if you leave this on the mat and you set that blade at 10, you're going to be cutting too deep with this, especially if it's a new blade, okay? And this blade isn't new, but it's not old either. So just a few kind of things that I think of, that I thought of. Now, I'm not sure what happened here, but you see here where I ended up pulling that up. So I may end up, if I pull this up and I'm getting circles and I'm getting cuts into my paper, I'm going to actually de end up decreasing my size. But we're gonna go ahead and peel this up. And I just like to peel from I'll try to turn this this way, y'all, because I am left-handed. And so everything I do. So here, we're just going to peel it on up. This is how easy it peels up. 
so that was pretty easy and we got a lot of it um so you can see we picked up most of them um looks like we got all of that most of all of this because now this is not solid um off in here it looks like we might have a few pieces in this o and maybe a few pieces there so we're going to go ahead and check this out and what i like to do here's a little tip turn your mat over to the back side because the back side is not sticky right and you can use the back of the mat to pull up any extra pieces that are there on the mat on on here um okay so let's see looks like i see one maybe oh maybe about 10 or so so what I'm going to do is just when you sit it onto the back of the mat, since the back of this mat is kind of matte, those pieces should just pull straight. Should You should be able to just pull that up. I see a piece there, so I'm going to stop and go ahead and pull it up. When I tell y'all this mat, this uh, flock is sticky. Ooh, it's sticky. It is sticky, sticky, sticky. So it's good flock. And, and you can tell good flock when um you're pulling it and it doesn't rip okay and this ain't that amazon flock although y'all know i will use it in a minute too but at the price of this flock i'll be using this so i'm gonna go ahead and stick that over to the side and then you can just use your little scraper tool and just scrape that on up off of there, okay? Use the scraper tool, scrape it on off of there and put it in your trash or wherever you're gonna put it, okay? So I think this is about ready. And y'all, for the sake of getting this over with, I'm just gonna lay it yep it's sticky when i told y'all it's sticky i mean it's sticky i'm just gonna lay it here for the sake of me getting this done with there's one piece there um and look like there's is a piece there so let's test out the little tool i have one that i've already taken the end off of so here we'll just go in and pick that out of there and that looks fine and we have one here we'll pick that out of there okay y'all now let's see i guess it's time to get this party popping huh so um what we're going to do we're going to put the design on here but before i do that i'm going to say hi to y'all and then i am going to push the stones out of my way and all of this stuff out of the way and I did cheat a little bit tonight, y'all. I did cheat a little bit tonight. So I actually went ahead and pressed that shirt. But don't worry, because I'm going to tell y'all exactly how I did it. So this is what's left of the print after I pressed it. And I'm going to go ahead and put, well, I can't put it up there. But this is the print after it was pressed. And it didn't leave a whole lot of stuff on here. Now, this right here is where I may have sprayed a little bit too much adhesive. Now, I believe in giving credit where credit is due, okay? So, I'm going to show y'all this. I'm going to tell y'all what I did. So, this is a 13 by 19 inch print that we printed. And... um. Like I said, I went in, I did the design. If you guys want to see how I went in and I edited the design, the design was already stock art and I just added my stuff to it to make it my own and then set it up for me to be able to do the rhinestones. So I used the um, A sub paper and I used the Lady PB sublimation inks. If you don't know, now you know, I do sell sublimation inks too. And my sublimation inks are over at ladyprintboss.com so we use the 13 by 19 inch i did this um 
I printed this out at using matte pres using presentation matte. I turned high speed printing off and just regular standard settings. And I went ahead and I pressed it and I pressed it at 400 degrees for 55 seconds. And this is the outcome. This is our image y'all and let me show it over here on the camera put it over here look at it it is absolutely gorgeous y'all it came out absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful now remember where i showed y'all that spray on there just a little bit right there now when i said i believe in giving credit where credit is due honey thank you to i want to give a shout out to A to Z Crafty Shop because y'all Miss Tampa Nicole told me a long time ago I think this may have been like six or seven months ago um, that she said girl buy the Elmer's adhesive uh, spray adhesive and she said to spray the shirt now I'm a little heavy handed barely missed it or you'll get that spot and, and I normally, so what I normally do is I spray the shirt and then let it sit, right? And then you can see the, um, you can see the uh, spray dissipate, right? But I didn't have time for that today because I sprayed it and then I put the paper on there and then I pressed it. Now I'm using the Geo Night and I have the air compressor. So my, um, my plate, it moves y'all. So this is per works perfect for me so we've got this so what we're going to do is we are going to bling out all of this up in here earrings and all of that okay what do y'all think it looks good this is a, actually in this shirt y'all this is a 3x so it's going to be a little bit big on me but y'all know honey that don't matter because we gonna cut it up right i told ken i said honey don't worry i will cut it up we'll cut it up and make something happen with it i actually wanted to put it on a hoodie i actually wanted to put it on a hoodie y'all um okay so let's see i need to i've moved that out the way but i actually need the shirt so that i can see what uh colors i'm going to do it in what color i am going to do it in now this earring i do like the way that sublimation looks on top of um rhinestones on top of sublimation because it is so so pretty y'all that's a blue it's so so pretty so let's kind of just take a look so what i like to do like before i get started is i like to kind of lay things out and look at it and see what color i'm gonna use so i'm gonna use this uh yellow for the earring that's a blue Oh, now that's pretty too. Now, yeah, I'm going to use more of that one as the gold. Um, but I'm going to use the other one. Because I, like I like a really, really light yellow, yellowy gold. That's the clear. So, for the Grinch, please... I'll use that red on it since it's already red. Is that the red one? That's not red, y'all. That's that's the orange. We'll use the we'll use the red on that. Mm -hmm. And then what color do I have down there? I have a purple, and we don't have a purple, so that's okay. 
we'll use an AB stone. Oh, we do. We'll use this one. We'll use that one on that. Mm -hmm. That's what we'll do. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start up here. And let's see if I have any tape. Because if I have some tape, I'll just tape um, right there. And then that way I won't get anything on it. And I don't look like, yep, 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 I do, y'all. I do. I got some tape. I got some tape. Down here, I got to pull my toe. I am tired. Y'all, I said, let me start this video early so that we can get this video popping. Hold on one second. And let me text Big Boy and find out what this um website is, y'all. In case you want to go over and order something. So bigboyprints.org. And if you're here in Dallas, y'all, Big Boy Prints is located over in Glen Heights, um, over at 125 Bear Creek, suite number 102. Okay. I don't normally do this, but we just try to heal time and save a little time tonight. Y'all tell me, does it bother y'all that I prepped all of this stuff in advance? Because I know sometimes, you know, we be on here for so long, so, so long that, you know, hey, it's like we want to get done. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, I like it. I like this old brush. Uh, stick, uh, sponge, spongy thingy. I like the spongy thingy, y'all. Oh, it's better than shaking. Okay. It's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. This is the first time I've done any rhinestones in quite some time. Mm -hmm. it's doing this thing and y'all know when you don't have a lot of stones out then it takes a little longer to brush them in I guess I could have put all my stones out there but we still got stones mm -hmm. this is alright it's alright y'all okay I'll just go ahead and just put them out there and so we can try to see if we can get these on up in here because we don't want to be here all night I mean, working in such a small space i'm feeling restricted you guys ever be doing something and you just feel like you don't have enough space to do it in and then you kind of frustrated that's why I moved uh, the heat press and everything up out of here so that I could have, you know, have more space when I'm in here, more open space. And um, so tonight needing to, we're probably going to just use the iron to uh, iron these on and get these on up off of here. But sometimes, you know, it does bother me when I when I'm working and I don't have space enough room to do you know what you're doing when you're doing jobs even when I'm out in the shop and I'm screen printing I have to go out there and I have to clean up uh, before I um I have to go out there and I have to clean up before I start working okay y'all so the i thought that so okay i thought that the um what do you call this stuff the um that the wax i thought the wax was kind of weird but the wax is actually working really well it's 
working really, really well. I kind of like this Big Boy Prince kit. I don't kind of like it. I actually love it. I do. I do. I actually love the kit, y'all. I think he's going to do really, really well with these. And y'all know, honey. Y'all know me. If it ain't right, baby, I'm going to get tell you. But this is a nice kit. I think it's a good price for, um, what do you guys think? Because I haven't purchased um, any rhinestones or anything in a while. What do you guys think about the price point of the kit? Like, you know, it's a new business. So give some feedback over in the comments and tell me what y'all think. I think that for the two, for the... Because you're getting 10 sets of stones. And what I like about the stones, um, about the package, y'all, is that you get enough colors to where you can say, okay, these are the colors that I like. And now you kind of know what it is that you like from what it is that you may not use a lot of. And then you can just order what you need in a larger pack i also love the fact that it's a complete kit for anybody who's trying to get started in rhinestones and that you have everything that you need to get started in one kit and i don't have to go and look for anything so i do love that and i absolutely love the flock and at the price point, I don't think it could be beat. I really don't. But that's just my opinion. I love shopping small. You know, um, we all out here trying to make it. And so anytime, looks like I need some more of that wax, y'all. Now, what did I do with it? What did I do with the wax? Here it is. Anytime a small business is, you know, someone's trying to grow, I much prefer dealing with small, small business than I do with uh, big business. What about y'all? Anybody been doing any rhinestones lately? Have any cool rhinestone designs or anything, y'all? And I could have brushed, I think I could have brushed this up in here a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and speed up because I know y'all don't want to be on here all night. We want to see the final product as fast as we can. Um, I think I could have brushed this side over here more, but with me, and, you know, being left-handed and whatnot, trying to make sure I'm kind of feeling conscious because my arm is here. And I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see. What do y'all think about the new camera setup? I'm working on, working on camera angles and things like that to try to make these videos, um clearer and more pleasant for y'all it's a challenge um you know i always tell y'all i'm a screen printer right and that you know i'm a screen printer first and running a business and then also trying to do stuff out here on youtube a lot of times the YouTube stuff gets, you know, stuck to the side, kind of put over to the side. And um, I don't get to really focus on the YouTube. So being on this little vacation has been okay. The phone started ringing like crazy today because even when I'm on vacation, y'all, I still leave the phones on. 
in case something comes through that I want, that I really want to do, you know. So those turned out really nice. That one turned out, that turned out really, really nice. Hey, big boy. Hey. A rhinestone by the tape. Oh, yeah, right there. I do. Okay. We are we are debuting your rhinestones here on the channel. These are looking really, really great, y'all. Like I said, 10 SS stones you get. And look how many. I'm going to show y'all um, when I, I'm going to put these over here back off into the kit. We have enough to do a couple more shirts with these. These are really, really, the camera does not do it justice at all. I can't wait to put these on top of this shirt. I don't know how I'm going to cut this shirt up yet, y'all, but I'm going to get it in, in it to where it fits me. I actually wanted to do a hoodie, and um, my boxes of hoodies are up underneath a bunch of boxes out there. So I said, well, we'll just do the shirt. But that's going to look so good on this shirt it's gonna look so good okay so look how many we still have over half of those left we still have a lot left i think this um the word grinch was i think it said it was about i think the whole the whole design was like 600 stones i think the whole design is like 600 stones guys when I tell y'all that flock, baby, that flock sticks because y'all see how those little squares are sticking, circles are sticking to my hand. So you know that that flock, that's how you know good flock. Okay. Okay, so what is the next piece, the please? What color did I say I was going to do that in? Oh, I said I was going to do that in like that purple. And then, and we'll just go ahead and just pull, pull this up. So that when I put everything down, I can, I can mask it with one mask, y'all. With one mask and be done. So here is the, for the cup here. The cup is purple. So I'm going to use this color. I think this one will be perfect for it. Can y'all see it? See it? Can't really see it there. I'll make sure that I show you guys this on the big screen beforehand, before we get off here. These colors are going good with this great. Yeah, this is nice. I think if I had a little bit more elbow room over here, y'all, I could really, really work this in. But I love this sponge. It's so big. I have to get used to it. Um, but that means, you know, a bigger sponge, hey, you can fill these holes fast. Quick, 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 quick. Mm-hmm. Oh, those are nice. They're just sliding off in there, too. It's not bad at all. Like I said, I just got to get used to it. And yeah, that looks really nice, y'all. This is going to be nice. It's going to be fire. Just imagine if I had put this on a color shirt. I may 
So I think I actually have a way. Um, you know, you can do the rhinestones uh, over your sublimation, but did y'all know that you can put your rhinestones on your screen print? You can. You can put your rhinestones on your screen print, especially if you're using like a water-based screen print really really easy but you can do it with your plastisol plastisol inks too um you can you can put on top and if you're doing a um let's say if you're doing like a, a inkjet transfer um a printable vinyl you can also put your rhinestones on top of that now, I don't know if you can do it on like something like a DTF or DTG. I don't know how that works. And with um, with Plastisol ink for screen printing, you, you would want to use a thinner ink, right? You want that ink to be kind of laid down. And when you peel it, so when you press it and then you peel it back up, you let it cool so that the plastisol, um, you know, so that it it you you press it and then you let it cool so that the plastisol does not come up, and it will stay. I did that for years and years and years. But you could also, you know, do all kind of stuff where you do things around it and stuff like that. So. This was actually Big Boy's idea for me to do something um, on top of um, the uh, on top of um, you know another print method to mix print methods. I saw a shirt that he did, and I thought it was absolutely beautiful. So I said. You don't have me out here and leave me behind. Uh oh. Yeah, so, just going to use this tray and slide that back off in there. I love these trays. I absolutely love how easy I can pop this stuff back in here with these trays. Without them, I'd be in a world of trouble. Oh, I see one. Okay. Oh, so, guys. Okay, so Big Boy says it won't stick to the DTF. Guys, so, um, I will be and if you're in Long Beach or if you're going to Long Beach, I will be in Long Beach, California. I fly in on the 19th. Okay. I will be there at the ISS show. I'll be speaking on two different topics. And um, so feel free to come by and holler at your girl. Okay. So that one is purple. I think I used the wrong color, but that's okay. Um, that's okay. I think I used the wrong color right there, y'all. I think this was the color that I was supposed to use on it, but it's okay. I'll figure it out. We'll use we'll use one of these A B stones, the A B stones on that. That's what we'll do. We'll use our A B on this over here. And it'll still work. Okay. So I'm going to pick up, try to pick all of these up at the same time. And this is the furry side right here, y'all. So this is the side that and it feels so good. It does. It feels so good. a little bit of a challenge after you've put you know your other colors in to but look at how that look how that just oh baby look at how that just falls off in there oh i'm getting better 
I'm getting better, y'all. I'm getting better. I think it's all about how much pressure you use with your hands. You know, Texas girls, honey, we, we kind of heavy-handed. So I got to kind of ease that thing, baby that thing a little bit, you know. Stop being so rough. When my daddy told me, he said, I made you too rough. I said, okay, daddy, I'll start wearing dresses and things. And I did wear a dress for him. But what I should have told him is you can't change the game after you, you know, hey, get it all started. I'm going to put my hand right here, y'all, and try the best I can to get that on there. I'm going to try to come this way. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to have to try to use this right hand. Let's see. So, I am what you call a true lefty. If y'all notice, I don't ever do anything with my right hand. So, this is a rare moment on the channel. For me to be trying to do something with my right hand. I don't think I'm doing too bad. I don't think I'm doing too bad. I didn't think I was going to make it on here with you guys tonight. Because my mom had her surgery. And oh, Linda came through like a champ up in there. She's like, baby, go on in there and just go on and do your thing. Like, are you sure, Mom? Okay, y'all. We pushing on through. Okay. We is pushing on through. So is everybody um, done Christmas shopping? I have not gone and done any Christmas shopping. I've got to do some stuff tomorrow. And then I'm going to do some uh, few shirts. And uh, I'll probably bling out something else. What do you guys want to see blinged? Probably bling out something else. Um with this bling because I mean you know it is two yards it's it's a this is enough actually with two yards y'all two yards that's six feet so let's say that um and this isn't even a half a foot I can cut this piece off right here I'll probably cut this piece off and put it back in there because I could put a heart or something there put it back on the paper um and since i did not cut like i told y'all i didn't cut according to the instructions the instructions tell you to cut to to peel the paper off of the mass first i didn't do that i did that reverse and i didn't use the inst the instructions that it told us to use so you have to kind of play with it i actually think that um the settings, if you use the settings that I told y'all to use, you will be do perfectly fine every time um, with this. The only time you, because this stuff, truly, truly, with it being, because uh, I've seen a lot of flock, right? I've seen a lot of flock and dealt with a lot of flock in my days. And anytime that you have a flock, and you cut your six SS stones with it, um, and they just all come out nice and easy like that, then you know, I'm not, not six SS stones, but you know what I'm saying, uh, on the template, the holes. These are 10 SS. I did cut six SS, which was this one, and it cut perfectly fine. That's how you know that... And that Amazon stuff that I use, I cannot cut the 6SS with those. I have a hard time on Silhouette cutting the 6SS stones. Very, very hard time. But this cut perfectly with no problem. So, big boy, the flock is good. 
um if you see alone here i did uh something working on a shirt hey nina kwanzaa okay yes that sounds good something kwanzaa that sounds good i may do something like that tomorrow if i get to do something tomorrow if not i'll do something you know it may not actually be tomorrow hopefully i will because i i gotta do something um i still have a few more things that i need to do i need to get some stuff made for my daughters and i think i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna pull out the embroidery machine y'all i got something that i want to do with the embroidery so i'm gonna see if i can get a uh, little minor designs to help me um uh, with making something uh that i want to do see if i can get some instruction from her anybody doing any christmas tumblers I wanted to rhinestone some, um, hopefully Big Boy will start selling the the stones without the the backing because I was thinking about, I'm, I've been thinking about doing getting back into doing like shoes and different things like that. So, I'm going to do a lot of rhinestones, but there is money in stoning, guys. There is money in stoning. It's pleasant to me when I don't have a lot of orders to do. And so I was talking to Ken earlier. Y'all got y'all's plan together for 2024? Because it's right around the corner next week. It's here. It is here, y'all. 2024, it is here. So I am, I'm not coming out the gate to January. I was going to wait to February, but I told Ken, January 2nd, we're going to have a big sale. We're going to have a big New Year's sale and um, show you guys that you can make money printing custom garments when you want to. It's about when you want to because you, you run the show. Right? Okay. Let's go ahead and get this mask up. And uh, I'm going to use the Big Boy mask. Let's go ahead and get this mask up and put this on. Put this shirt together. See if I can get Ken to press it for me. Well... I've got an iron in here, so I'll just iron it on. Shouldn't have no problem with it. What I'll do is I'll iron it on for the video, and then um, I will do a press with the heat press. Y'all don't know, back in the day, when uh, I first started, my first set of shirts uh, was... And I hate to say it, but it was a Texas OU game. And yes, I was bootlegging shirts. And uh, I didn't know no better. You know what I'm saying? I was just getting started. My brother-in-law had me and my friend do up 200 shirts. That was my very first order. And I had just started doing shirts. And you guys would not believe that I did those shirts Where's my big boy scissors at? Here we go. That's the good thing about this kit. It comes, literally comes with everything that you need. So you ain't got to be, y'all know how normally I'm in here looking all around trying to find stuff. I ain't got to do that with the kit. I don't have to do that with my kit. I can just grab everything. So the kit actually came in a box, y'all. So I'm going to actually put my kit back inside of the box that it came in. 
So now I would recommend that you unroll this because see how it's kind of wrinkly. So I would tell you guys, like before you use it, go ahead and unroll it and lay it down and let it just kind of lay flat for a while. But we ain't got time for that tonight. So just make sure, give it a chance to, um, so we're going to commit okay and it's sticking it's sticking drop it like it's hot don't lift up don't lift up let it go 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 and we'll use the brush here just kind of brush that down oh yeah this is nice. This is nice. If you have a stone that kind of moves, move it while it's still on this plastic. See how that plastic is real tight? Just kind of move it and pop it back into place while it's on there. Now, my table is kind of like spongy right here, right? So it's not just a really, really hard table. Um, okay, y'all. So all we got to do now is pick this up and notice I didn't do anything special. I did not do anything special, didn't do too much of nothing special. And look, everything came up at one time. Now y'all going to watch the girl struggle. Okay, because this part. Oh, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Come on, girl. You're a professional. Don't you do it. See, this is why I say to lay that and let it sit out. But look, I got something for that. I ain't going to be playing, playing no games up in here with this thing. If you don't want to lay, just do it like this here. Turn it this way and then lay it upside down. That way, you know you're still on point. You just lay it like that. And that works too. Okay. And then there we have our template right there. We're good to go. Okay, y'all. So, what I'm going to do is just... I didn't realize I had got something on that. I'll go ahead and take these up and put them. Just going to go ahead and stick this on the back of my mat for now. And y'all, I'm just peeling this just regular so that y'all can see that the template is not tearing. That's the thing. If you get flock and it just tears, that template tears, you know that the flock ain't no good. So I'm just going to lay this on here for now and see how I can peel it up and all that stuff so I can use this again. And you can just use, so what I normally do is just put these on transparency sheets. I know people go and they buy like baking sheets and all kinds of stuff. I just lay that and sit it on a transparency sheet until... Um, and I'm using I, the transparencies that I use. Look, just pulling that up. Look, no rips, no rips, guys, at all. Very, very sticky. Very good job. Good, good job. Good job, big boy. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to actually lay something here because I'm going to plug in the iron. We're going to use the iron. We're going to take it old school today because now, y'all, I'm really testing these. I'm testing these rhinestones tonight in case y'all don't know what's going on here. We're really doing real, for real, for real tests on these rhinestones and see, will they stick with the iron? Uh, let's see here. Now, where is my plug? I have a plug back here somewhere, y'all. Okay.
So we're going to heat press it on with an iron. It may take me a couple of seconds just to tack it down. But let me show y'all something. So you notice I have my purple curtains back here, right? But when I get ready to do a photo shoot and I want to be on a blank wall like this, look, y'all see it? Y'all see it? Put that product right here on that black, on that blank wall, and then I can pull it up and do whatever. It's perfect, perfect, perfect place to take pictures, right? So all you got to do is just perfect. Look, just perfect back here. Anything goes good up against that white background. Okay, so we're going to let the iron heat up a little bit. And um, I will take a shirt and just lay some latest shirt on here so that because I don't know what's going on with this table. Go ahead and cut this up now. Won't be much longer now. So again, the website is Big Boy Prints and it's B O I, not Y, Boy. You know, Big Boy. That's how it is. Big Boy Prints. Uh, dot org, y'all. It's a lot of stuff over there. And I do believe that the kit is up on the website right now. I'm not sure, but I do believe that it is up on the website. I know he told me that it was going to be on the website by the time we did the video. So I'm pretty sure that it's up on the site and ready to go now. I don't know why I'm cutting around this. I'm just killing time now, y'all. But this is pretty good. There's our little Grinch wording right there. Look at those rhinestones. Look at that bling. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to take my shirt that I have here and start laying out what I'm going to do to it, okay, lay it out, how I'm going to design it, with everything, hopefully I can do it all on here in one walk, well if I get a little closer with the, I can do the O with one walk, I can do this hop this up here in one when I do my scissors I can do this one up here and like I said if you want to see if you need to learn how to lay these rhinestones how to go in and do that trace and trace around whatever it is that you have so that uh you can put the rhinestones on it then Go and watch the live from earlier today. So I'm just going to start laying them, y'all. So what we want to do is make sure that when we pick it up that we're not losing any right here, right? So that's a good sign. Uh-huh. This is really, really easy to do. That's about good right there. Just gonna stick that there. So I'm using this same brush to be able to, or sponge, to be able to hold that down for me while I'm working. Go ahead and put these earrings on. Now, I don't know which way my earrings go, but we'll figure that part out. Uh, 
Uh, can somebody put Big Boy's uh, website in the comments for me? Big Boy, type in the name of the uh, of the website. Big Boy is actually in the in the chat, guys. So. Ooh, I cut that so sharp, I can't hardly peel it. Now that's a first for me. There we go. Look at them earrings popping, popping. Oh, baby, she's pop a lot. And yep, 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 yep. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Now, that little piece of glue right there that I got on there, once I wash this shirt, it'll be fine. Sometimes I do stuff and oh. So I'm glad that I did do the Grinch, please. Because that's me. I'm more of, you know, one of them, one of them kind than to, you know, don't steal my vibe. Because can't nobody steal my vibe. So I'm more of a Grinch, please, girl. And 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 because that means they can take it how they want to. You know what I'm saying? Look, I mean. Just no problem. I'm talking about excellent quality. Excellent quality. No problem with pulling up my rhinestones or anything, y'all. I'm loving this. I'm loving all of it. The whole kit. I am. Ooh, hoo, hoo, baby. Baby. Don't sleep. Y'all, don't sleep. Don't sleep on me. Don't sleep on me now. Ooh, honey. Oh, baby. Don't play with it. Mm -mm. Y'all see what that cap say? I started to put that to bling that I'm the boss on there. I, I did. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, I don't know why I didn't, y'all. I might make another one. So this one right here, I'm not going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to iron that on and then come back and do my word in there. Baby, baby, I ain't playing with y'all. This fire, 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 fire. Look, y'all, that is going to be some fire right there. <laughs> y'all see it. Y'all see it. Okay. Okay. Don't forget, baby. Oh, oh, that's freaky right there. I like that there. Oh, yeah. That's a big old print for a big girl, baby. Yes. Okay, let me find me some something to cover that with, y'all, so that I can, so that I can, uh, call on and get y'all the business. Put your shades on. Put your shades on. Oh. Here we go. Put your shades on, honey. Because that girl coming through. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. That don't make no sense right now. That don't even make sense right now. That don't make no sense right there. Okay. So, let's see here. Hopefully I ain't got no water in this thing, and I don't think I do. Turn it all the way up. I was about to touch it, but I said, you know what? I better not do all that. 
It's hanging out. Fuck oh, me. I'm not sure if I'm right there. Hold on, pal. Oh, it's off. Look here. Don't be laughing because when the last time you use the iron. Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all. So we just waiting on that to heat up. We're going to let that iron heat up a little bit. I'm going to clean up my workspace. Always a good thing to clean up your workspace. See what y'all talking about. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Where's my big boy box? I don't know what I did with my with my box y'all because i want to put all my stuff back in my box so i'm gonna tell y'all this bling right here i can tell you already it's boss approved okay this is boss proof when it's good it's good baby when it's good it's good look at how that came up so easy y'all i'm telling you set that blade on your silhouette cameo set that blade to five set that force to 30 and uh set the blade to five the force to 30 do two passes on it i actually think that you could get away with one path on this i will go back in tomorrow when i do the set uh if i do one tomorrow or the next day I will make sure I will do one with one pass and see how that works. Like I said, now the advised settings is to set your blade on 10. I set the blade on half of that, y'all, on half of that and got excellent results. And I left the backing on when I did mine so that I wouldn't cut through the mat. And it peeled up perfectly. It will keep your mat nice and clean because this is going to peel up in one piece and you don't have to scrape your mat. So just a little pro tip for y'all. But other than that, it's, I mean, everything is just on point. And again, the other thing I did is now with the advice settings say, say to do the speed at 10, which is a lot faster, which it will... So when I did mine, I did mine on the speed of five, which is a slower speed, right? When you slow down the speed, you're going to get those perfect circles. So that's what I did mine on. I will try it at the speed of 10. Like if you want to speed up a little bit, you can, you know, you can try it at 10 and see how that works for you. But, you know, like again, like I said, again, different strokes for different folks. Um, and my blade is not the it's not a brand new blade but it's also not an old blade either y'all so you know as your blade gets older then you may have to up that uh up that force just gonna hit this on here and just hold it Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stand up and put, hit this with this big girl pressure, right? Like you said, like I said, you just need that. I just need that to um, 
that adhesive to release from the stones to melt a little bit. And then I'll actually um I will actually hit this with my heat press before I um wear this. I have two. We actually have three heat presses. I've got one in the closet, my two twins that I never use. I could put one of them off in here, but uh I mainly use it for events now, so That's pretty hot. Oh, yeah. That should be fine. Because that's pretty hot, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what we got if I need to press that again some more. Let's see if it's ready to come off of there. Oh, yeah. These stones are easy to work with, y'all. When I say easy to work with, so easy, baby, that you can do it with an iron. I missed that part right there. Those are filling up just fine. Put that right there. Mm -hmm. I may bling that I'm a boss, Cynthia. If I do, I can just do it by hand. It was at the end of me doing the design, and I was like, I'm tired. Okay, that should be fine now. That felt pretty hot. Let's see. I'll let it cool down over there. Yeah. I'm going out to I could take it out there and put it on the heat press now, y'all. Since I've got it on here. But I actually think this is going to work. It's just me being impatient. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to have to put some more pressure on this. Might get Ken to go out there and heat press it with the press for me. It may take me a while to get it to stay on. My cup was coming off just fine. I think I had pressed it the longest, huh? Mm -hmm. so, I still have a problem. I'll just run out there. I'll just call Ken in here 
and have him take these out there and uh, hit it with the heat press. It looks like that's coming up fine there. Let's see how the Grinch must does. The Grinch rather, not the Grinch must. That part's on. It's not that mess. Oh, y'all, this looks so good. I'm just so ready to get it up done. This is one of those pieces that you put up in your shop that you just have up for people to wow at. husband might have to have Ken come and press it on the heat press for me so I can get it done Hey, babe, can you uh heat up the, turn the heat press on out there for a minute? Yeah, I want to, uh, I think I'm going to have to have you take, take my design out there and heat it on the heat press for me. I'm still on live. I'm, I'm putting the stones on now. I was having a little problem with a few of them trying to come up as I was doing it. I'm trying to do it with my, with my, uh, Iron right now, but it's actually starting to go good. But go ahead and turn it on for me, okay? Let it get to about 300. Okay, y'all, okay, it is coming on alone. Cynthia, what you cracking up for? Y'all cooking for, um, maybe I should do that and bling that out. We almost ready to do a reveal, y'all. We almost ready. If I can get this Grinch, this Grinch done, you just have to put a little pressure on it and take your time when you're doing it like this if you don't have a heat press. But it's on there. If I hit it with that heat press, push it all the way in, it'll be even better. The iron. <laughs> Baby, let me tell you something. I did my very first order. Imagine being up all night long. And, and this is this is early 2000. So this is when... Uh, this is when transfers were not that good. I knocked off those Texas OU shirts, honey. We did 200 and some of them. And my brother-in-law went out there to sell them. And with a hand iron. Surely did. With a hand iron. We ironed those prints and kept it pushing.
See, when you try something new, you have to see if it works under adv adverse conditions, right? So you know, okay, what's the adhesive like on these stones? Are we able to, what are we able to get away with? That's what I'm all about. I'm going to show y'all this. Ooh. Show y'all this. Just a second. See how that heat. There we go. This is what we have so far. Baby, y'all don't know nothing about me. You don't have to bling your whole shirt. You don't have to bling the whole shirt, y'all. Just a little bling adds to it, right? It's like you just took a $25 shirt, right? And turn that $25 shirt into a $60, $70 shirt. Just like that. By just adding. Now let's hit this with the, this is our AB crystals. Okay, so. Let's hit it with the AB crystals because remember your AB crystals is going to take on the color of the shirt. Whatever colors it's on, that's those you're going to start seeing different colors, um, color patterns. So let's go in here and hit this up. Mom, you okay? I guess she's okay because she have not said nothing. So on this one, I just did the outline. Um, right? I just did the outline and I actually feel like there are a couple stones on here that I see that I'm going to pop out of here. Where it's kind of overlapping. And then I can go in there and I can go back and figure that out and put those in one by one just to save some time. Oh, yes, baby. He ain't going to be like, I'm here to go do your stuff. I'm like, baby, I'm good. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to be good with y'all. The great thing about sublimation is you see, once you heat it up, then you can go in and you can press on it, do all kinds of other stuff. Hey, uh, CTR, how are you? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I will run this through the washer and show y'all the results after washing it also. Like I said, I am going to, so if you're going, if you don't have anything else to, you know, like you say you're working at home, you don't have a heat press or anything, you want to just apply pressure, right? Because a cricket press ain't nothing but an iron. It ain't nothing but an iron. Just don't put water in it and um, just go straight with that heat, high heat. And hold it down. This is how we used to do it. As so long as it gets that job done. Now the time that y'all see me doing it on here. I would actually. Um, if I did. If I wasn't going to go 
back over this with the heat press I would put my paper on here and I would go back over these stones hope that y'all have enjoyed the video tonight no i don't do a lot of these types of lives but we're getting ready to start back doing lives every friday night oh honey it's 8 10 i supposed to be in the bed an hour ago y'all an hour ago And I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't know if you know, but like if you've ever done something and then you raise it up and then you have like the outline or the tape leaves like a yellow mark on your paper, on your, on your uh, design, this does not do that. Does not do that. Quite impressive. Quite impressive. And she came and she has slayed. We have come and slayed, honey. Yes, yes. Let me turn it this way for y'all over there. Come over there and then I will come back over here because this is a better camera over here. Come over here and let y'all really, really see what time it is look at that look at that uh-huh y'all see y'all see y'all know what it is mm -hmm. look at that isn't that beautiful that is beautiful this room does not do it justice absolutely beautiful y'all absolutely beautiful Let's go over here to our web camera. Oh, there she go. Mm -hmm. You know what? This has been really, really fun, y'all. I don't get to do stuff like this uh, with screen printing. So this, big boy, thank you. Um, because this has been really, really fun. Y'all make sure that y'all go over to Big Boy Prints and check out the bling check it out put your glasses on baby oh and that's right she did say do that top y'all think that it's blinged enough y'all don't y'all think that's blinged enough y'all think i need to bling out that i'm the boss baby she's blinged out baby she is ready that girl is ready Look at her. She is ready, baby. Ready, ready. Okay. Ready. That is ready. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, guys. It's been a pleasure. I've had a lot of fun. Go over there and get you some of that bling. Check out that bling starter kit over there at bigboyprints.org. Also, make sure that you go over there and check him out. He's got those DTF inks popping. Y'all know Big Boy has the whitest of the white, but he has those sublimation prints, the sublimation ink, and paper. So everything that you need, you can get it right over there and uh, get the hookup, babe. Okay, I'm going to put this on and... Oh, I'm gonna be fly. Y'all, I'll probably end up doing this on something, and I may end up doing this on a dark color shirt. But this is amazing. Looks absolutely amazing. I'm very, very happy with the way that it turned out. Yes, honey. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Make sure y'all like and subscribe.